Hi curl friends, welcome back to my channel, Outrageous Curls, where we get the curls popping and we keep it popping and soon you'll see my curls popping and I hope your curls are popping too. So in today's video I am doing a curly hair routine featuring some new curly hair products. Yes! And these curly hair products called Give Me, I'll have the link below for this brand so you can have a look into it further. They're hair products which is Give Me For Curls. I have cleansed my curls. As you can see, I've already got my hair wrapped in a microfiber towel. And I really like the microfiber towel. As you can see, it's quite colorful and it just feels so good. The shampoo, which I use to cleanse my hair, it's sulfate free and silicone free. And as you can see on the bottle as well, it's enriched with shea butter, jojoba and castor oil, which is so good for curly hair as we need that moisture. And we also need something to strengthen our hair to help our hair grow and to also add shine to our hair as well. As you can see, the consistency of the product looks really good and it lathers so well. And I use my shampoo brush as well to just in a rotational circular motion to just help my scalp follicles open up a bit more to also get rid of the grime and the dirt more easily and also using a shampoo brush helps with hair growth and then I followed up with the conditioner the conditioner was also really nice it's such a good consistency and what I loved about it as well is that it instantly just soaked into my curls really nicely and it had such good slip so that's really good for when you're detangling your curly hair and I left that in for about five ten minutes while I was showering the instructions say to leave it in for two minutes and I will admit the intensity of the moisture of the conditioner is so good that you could just leave it in for two minutes but I do like to keep it in a little bit longer because I'm just one of because my hair was a little bit dry, as you can see in this first enclosed catching before I washed my hair, you can see it was a little bit dry. I don't have that volume that I normally have. It'll, it has a huge loss of shape. So I really needed to have a good curly hair routine today to just get that volume back, the curls moisturized, looking healthy and having that shape back again. So now that I'm at this stage now of styling, I'm gonna remove my microfiber towel. It's actually still quite damp, which is good. I will add a little bit of water just to help the product soak into my curls more because my hair does need to be damp when I'm applying styling products. I never really like to apply styling products dry to my hair because I feel like it just sits. So what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna section my hair because I find that sectioning my hair for the styling process it helps me get the best results possible and also that I'm ensuring I'm moisturizing every hair strand especially the back as well because the back can be the hardest part to moisturize especially if your hair's thick like mine it can be easy to miss so what I'm going to use now is a little bit of water to just help damp the curls And now I'm going to use the leave-in conditioner. You can see a bit more information on the other side here. And it's a nice size and it smells quite nice. It's quite, but the consistency as you can see here, it's a really nice consistency actually. It's quite thick, which is good. So you can use just a little bit. You don't like this. And then you always wanna make sure you start at the ends when you are applying your leave-in conditioner because the ends are prone to um, damage more. They're the driest part of your hair as well, so they really need it. And where they can get so dry, it can cause a lot of split ends as well. So to help with that hair length and that hair growth, you also want to keep that length retention. And the only way to do that is by ensuring that your ends are moisturized. But I have to say, this leave-in conditioner has really good slip. It's like so effortless. Even the conditioner was just as good as this. And that's how my hair looks with the leave-in conditioner. I have to say, my curls are getting a bit definition here as well, which is really good. So I'm gonna use a hair butter, the Four Curls Moisturizing Mango Hair Butter. And you can see a image of it here up close. And it's mango flavored. Oh my god, it smells amazing. And the consistency of the product is really nice. So you don't want your hair butter to be super thick. You do want it like to be this kind of texture. 
where it's still got that, you, as you can see here, it's like pleat, is that the right word? Pleats? I feel like that's the right term, but you want it to have something like that. So you can see that it could definitely hold your curls and keep that curl definition. So that's when you know you've got a good hair butter. So I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna actually do my hair in subsections at this point because I do want to get really good definition and make sure the mango hair butter really soaks into my hair. Oh my God, it smells amazing. And then what I'm doing now is I'm trying my best not to finger detangle too much, but just smooth the curls like this. This technique I find definitely helps me keep that curl definition really nice. But oh my God, that looks really good. So I'm getting that bit more curl definition. I'm loving it. I've got the Give Me Four Curls Hydrating and Defining Mousse. I'm actually really excited to try this out. So I'm gonna pump out. So one pump gives me about that much of the hair mousse, which is quite good. So I'm gonna try it out now and see how it does. Should try and keep in the subsections as well. But hair mousses are good for people who don't really like to use gels. I know gel is something that not a lot of people enjoy using. I think for me, gels, it took a little while to try them out. So mousse is really good. And especially with this one, it is not meant to actually leave any residue. Because I know some mousses before used to leave a lot of residue and it would make people's hair dry. I think that's probably why I wasn't a fan of mousses either. Because I heard mousses can dry out your hair, especially if you've got the wrong hair mousse. So I was very weary about trying hair mousses, but this one seems really nice. But I'm loving, like it's so foamy and like with gels, they can get a bit sticky. Like, I'm not really selling it there, but like some gels can get sticky on your hands and it can be a little bit frustrating to use, but with this, it's actually really nice. Wow, look at that. That looks so good. So now I'm gonna repeat the same process throughout the rest of my entire head. Hey curl friends, so here is my hair after air drying for five hours. And look at my curls, they look so good and so defined. And like the shape is all back. I'm absolutely loving it. So I do need to do one more thing just to finish off my curly hair routine, which is use some hair oil. As you can see here, this is hair nourishing oil. It's got rosemary oil, jojoba oil, and castor oil. I absolutely love rosemary oil. Seeing this makes me so excited because I know it will work really well. Kind of, where you just get some drops out. So I'm just gonna use a few here, but what I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna use this comb for also from Give Me just to help I want to focus on my scalp a little bit and then I'm going to use a little bit on my ends as well and this is good to use to help refresh your hair as well during the week and it's good to also use a little bit of this oil especially at night before you go to bed so you can keep your hair moisturised so when you wake up in the morning you can just fluff your curls out I'm loving the results. This is just so good. I definitely recommend this hair, this hair range. It's absolutely amazing. Remember, it's sulfate free, silicone free, so it's very curly girl method friendly. And that is it, curl friends. Comment below, what are your thoughts? Have you tried the Give Me Hair products before? Let me know, as I'd love to hear about your experiences. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for my curly hair uploads. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the curly hair fun. I hope you guys have a lovely week. Keep it fun, keep it curly, stay true, and see you in the next video. Bye.